So I keep talking about these batteries. Let's go ahead and pull them out. So I got these from Battery Hookup. It's kind of fun. Cargo, cargo aircraft only, forbidden in passenger aircraft because you know all the stuff with the uh, all the concern over lithium fires. And then there's a UN placard and 20 S PIM 08 HP. I've had these for about a week and I really wanted to do a YouTube video of kind of unboxing. And so I've been waiting for you guys. Uh, and so, so let's get started. Um, I've seen a lot of criticism on YouTube of people using sharp things to open up battery boxes. And these are Harbor Freight 99 cent uh, scissors and I'm being super careful because these batteries are kind of expensive so I don't want to screw them up and I definitely don't want to cause a fire. So actually I probably can't see these set right on top. How about that? So let's open them up and see what's in there. Sounds like they came out of Chinese buses, Chinese hybrid buses. Um, and they're really quite beefy in that, uh, oh, here's one in here. <clears throat> they're really quite beefy in that they can, uh, they're eight amp hours and they can be discharged at just a ridiculous, um, a, a ridiculous uh, amperage rating. And we won't even get that high when, we're, when we do these on my, oh nice, they're layered. Oh, how cool is that? Okay, so um, I got twenty of them, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put them back over here off camera, layer them in the same way. <clears throat> so they've been shipped. Basically, they've been shipped intelligently. So here's another one. Very nice that they take the time to cover the leads. I'm only going to take out four. Hmm, this one's different than the other ones. That'll be fun. Whoop. So I'm only gonna take out four, I only have four uh, things. It's kind of late for the, the, the measuring devices. There's my last one for the night. And we'll go ahead and do some testing of those. I'm gonna take this box and get it out of the way. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. First thing, I want to do is I'm actually going to take one of these pieces of cardboard and I'm just going to write I'm not a huge fan of writing on my batteries but yeah I'm just going to write really small one on this one and I got a piece of the cardboard I cut out, so I'll put that one right there. Two. Three. And four. So, before we get too far, I do want to test these guys, see what the, what voltage they shipped at. So let's get out a get out a meter. <laughs> My meter's a little dusty. Okay, so let's turn this guy on here. Let's see. Direct current, ready to go. Battery one. Let's test battery one. So I'm gonna go ahead and expose the leads here. These are a little more malleable than I expected they would be. Um, these pouch cells, that's actually a good thing. Okay, so my leads are exposed. Let's see what these guys read at. I'm gonna put this, I think the camera is probably focused right about there. Cell number one, I'm gonna take my leads off. Cell number one. Oh. Okay. 
Top is positive, bottom is negative. Top and bottom. 3.82 for cell number one. So they were stored at a, at a good storage uh, voltage, which is great. At least that one was. And let's get, here we are for number two. Uh-oh. Okay. This one doesn't have a pos <laughs> positive and a negative sticker. You know, make me earn my money today. <clears throat> Let's see, which one's which? Honestly, not sure. I guess we'll find out. I assume that's positive. That's negative. Nope. Let's try this again. Positive. Negative. Yep. So this one's upside down. Upside down. Don't drop the cells. Let's try this again. These guys are slippery. So. Again, cell number one. Three point eight two. And actually, what I want to do, I don't know why I undid them upside down. Okay, we'll use that again. Okay, and then let's see. I think we decided the this is now the positive and this is 3.83 for cell number two. Just wanna make sure since it's not labeled. Positive, negative, two. Okay, so let's come over here, cell number Cell number three. I can't believe I'm thinking about buying <laughs> a couple hundred of these. It's kind of scary. It's a lot of work. Cell number three. Oh, 3.7. Okay. We'll put cell number three over here. And finally, cell number four. Let's see what cell number four has to say. Cell number four, what do you have to say? 3.58. So they're kind of all over the place. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do before I go too far is, okay, I'm gonna get this guy out of the way. Here, 
Okay. Cell number one, you are going to go we're going to fast forward through all this. Okay. I don't think you can see cell number one, but that's okay. So now cell number two, we'll put up here on the top guy. Okay. Cell number two. This guy here is cell number three. Okay, cell number three. Um, okay, set it right here. This is safe because the tape's covering it up. Okay, cell number four. And by the way, I'm doing these connections this way because I saw a video from one of the guys who's had these batteries said that it's better for resistance. Okay, so the next thing I want to do real quick is go to stop. And I want to go go to the battery meter. Okay. Both of those say 3.8. That would be match what I had earlier. So now on these guys, stop and this one is 3.54, number four. So my multimeter was off a tiny bit. And then this guy, number th cell number three is, according to the IMAX is 3.68. You know, that's pretty darn close. So off by uh, four hundredths of a volt. You know, you can't beat that. Okay. So now <clears throat> I was curious about the internal resistance. So okay. Battery number two, two milliohms. Wow. That's really good. Two milliohms. Battery number one is 20. Battery number three is 11. Battery number four, 12. Hmm. Makes me wonder if battery number one maybe is uh, not connected very well. Let's try it again. Same result. Okay, well, you know what? These are all pretty darn close. That's that's good. Man, I'm really impressed. I hope I have a lot more of these that don't have two milliohms. That's pretty incredible. Okay. Okay, so the very next thing we want to do, stop, stop, Battery memory. And again, we're going to go 3.7, 1 amp charge, 2 amp discharge, and we're good to go. We're good to go. Okay, long hold, and then enter to confirm. So, 
we're charging at one amp. And now we wait. <laughs> 